Growing up in the Lopez family is such a unique and amazing story. McDonald's has been a part of my life since I was born. My grandparents, John Lopez and Pat Lopez, became owner-operators in California in the late 70s, and my parents were able to become operators as well. I guess you could say there's ketchup in my, my veins, basically. And it's such a unique experience because my aunts and uncles are also involved in McDonald's. It's the culture I know, it's, it's our family, and family is McDonald's. So I was very fortunate to become an approved owner-operator at the age of 25. I wanted to become a part of something bigger than me, but better because of me. And I really felt that McDonald's was at the heart of that. Looking back, I, I realize now that most third gens don't make it in businesses. And a lot of that has to do with they don't really understand all of that first gen went through becoming a business owner, entrepreneur. I think it's really crucial at a third gen that you have to bring new skills and, and, and look at the business differently because you can't approach it like your parents did or your grandparents. And that's exactly why I think I was really successful at a young age was I was innovative. I brought different skills to our business and I felt like McDonald's really related to that and I was able to become very successful at a young age. Looking back, you know, my grandfather has always gave me great advice that I still use to this day always is surround yourself with great people and you'll be successful. I feel like we've done exactly that in our company is, you know, you got to have great people to help run your company. You can't do it alone. So we really had to put together a, a people plan basically to help identify future growth. And we were able to identify a lot of crew members, shift leaders, and now looking back, they're sh supervisors for us. And we wouldn't be anywhere today if it wasn't for our people. They're great and they do a phenomenal job. 